And with El Nino causing plenty of rainy days across South Florida this weekend, this or this winter, this weekend, the Army Corps of Engineers began increasing the amount of water it's releasing from Lake Okeechobee because the lake is dealing with higher than normal water levels. However, some residents and lawmakers along the St. Lucie River say they're concerned both for people's health and wildlife. Steve King is along the St. Lucie River with what those concerns are and why the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers says it's taking this action now. With all this rain, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers says it's begun releasing water from Lake Okeechobee into the St. Lucie River so it can avoid having to do high volume releases during the wet season. But some say that's the wrong strategy and it can have harmful consequences. The Army Corps says it's trying to avoid high volume releases in the wet season because that's when algal blooms peak and that's when the oyster spawning season is. However, charter boat captain Bob Bushholes with Catch-22 Fishing Charter says the increased water releases right now will reduce the saltwater volume of the St. Lucie River too much, harming some wildlife. He also says when the saltwater volume goes down, the risk of blue-green algae, which is harmful to human health, increases. He says over the last couple years, there's already been a dramatic reduction in the number of fish in the St. Lucie River, cutting his business in half. The last two years, I've seen an over 50% drop. He says if the fish population does not increase, he'll have to reconsider being a charter boat captain. It definitely hurts the business, but in the last two years, what I've seen, if, if it doesn't rebound in the next two years, I'm probably going to retire. It's getting to the point where I don't enjoy it anymore. Congressman Brian Mast also weighing in, saying, quote, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers' gross incompetence is on full display here and Floridians on both coasts are about to pay the price. The Army Corps of Engineers sending this response to those criticisms, saying in part, quote, We have heard from our partners that ecological conditions within the lake itself are deteriorating due to high water levels and diminished vegetation, and that any reduction in water levels will be a relief to the health of the lake. Our charge is to balance the needs of all ecosystems and stakeholders throughout the system, and it is never an easy decision. Reporting from the Treasure Coast, Steve King, WPBF 25 News.